clear that you know the ones that continue to do well are just the large mega mega caps um and we're about two-thirds into our earnings season for q1 and the numbers basically reflect that reality that big is getting bigger um google or alphabet remains um one of our favorites uh facebook we continue to like even though they've had their fair share of issues um and those have uh, just crazy strong balance sheets they're still continuing to grow obviously facebook uh it should trough from a growth perspective this quarter and re-accelerate in the second half so we like it for that and then you know snap and trade desk which by the way reports tomorrow are the other two smaller name uh names we like within the advertising environment we remain cautiously optimistic or tactically cautious on e-commerce in general amazon in particular why why are you why are you still so cautious on e-commerce i realize we're coming off of a very rough re week for those names post earnings um is, is that the reason or is there something more structurally uh dangerous i guess for lack of a better word uh to for investors to keep in mind yeah no there's definitely something more structural although structural to me means multiple years we think this is going to be multiple quarters and i think we've seen it out of amazon to a certain de degree out of wayfair etc but amazon in particular basically told us what was going on which is because of the huge demand they saw in 2021 they doubled their capacity and now that demand is normalizing um, they're finding themselves with extra capacity. Efficiency has gone through the floor, and because of that, their margins are down, their profits are down, et cetera. They will need at least three quarters to work through that excess capacity. And so we really like it into going into 2023. But for the second half of the year, we continue to think e-commerce is going to be challenged. Hey, Yusuf, I read this morning that Truist uh, took a look at the NASDAQ more broadly and argued that in a recession scenario, you could be looking at a 17% drop from here down to 10K. Is that something you can address or expand on? Yeah, no, that's uh, really on, uh, not something really I can speak to because that's, that's how our economists kind of internally think uh, about. That said, we did an analysis and we published a note this morning looking at the divergence historically between the internet group and the S&P 500. And for the last five years, the, the internet group has dramatically outperformed, but on two or three, on three occasions, it, it actually SM towed towards the S&P and as soon as it touched it, it bounced the back. So we're roughly 10% away from having that happen again. And if that's true, if that relationship holds We'd be really happy to see this group drop in within 10 or 15 percent from where we are here today, which would be which would be great, just considering how bad the tape has been. Hmm. OK, Yusuf Scully, thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys. Another big mover.